to my channel and welcome to installment two of my Super Ladies series, which if you aren't familiar with my Super Ladies series, it's just some tutorials that are based on various comic book heroines and villainesses that I thought would be fun to create a more of an evening look, not necessarily Halloween, though again you could totally wear it for Halloween if you wanted to, but more of something you could wear out say to a nightclub or something like that. Anyway, if you can't guess, today's inspiration is Wonder Woman, which if you aren't familiar with Wonder Woman, she is a DC Comics heroine. Um, she's a member of the Justice League, she's an Amazon, and she has all sorts of crazy skills. Um, she can fly sometimes, or she has an invisible jet, she has a lasso of truth, and she has a little tiara that she wears that she can throw like a boomerang or a chakram and cause some damage that way. So I based my look on her today and I even curled my hair for the occasion because in a lot of representation she does have curled hair. She doesn't always have curled hair. Sometimes her hair is shorter, sometimes it's longer. But I curled my hair today because I could. I don't know how long it's going to last because I didn't really put any product in it. But to give you a good look... It's just a lot of reds and blues and then I use sort of gold tones as a highlight and then I added a little star to pay a little white star to pay homage to her red white and blue costume not quite as bright as I would like but it'll do and yeah so if you want to see how I created this look stay tuned okay so we're going to start with a clean face and clean hands then we're going to go in with a primer just to make our skin nice and smooth and ready for the foundation. Then we're going to go in with our foundation of choice. I'm going to use a foundation brush, but you can use whatever method you prefer to apply it. Also, you need to say hi to a puppy if you happen to have one. And then finish your foundation. Now we're going to set our foundation. I'm using a fluffy kabuki-like brush and my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Powder. And I'm just going to buff that in, smoothing out any streaks that may have occurred during application. And I almost forgot to conceal, so I'm going to do that now. And go ahead and dust over that once again with the powder. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids to ready for the shadow. Next, I'm going to use a small shader brush and apply some red. Since I don't actually have a straight up red, I just combine two colors that I do have to make a pretty fair approximation. And you're just going to pat that on the lid from the inner corner to about midway. Next, I'm going to take this blue shade with the same shader brush flipped around, and I'm going to pat that blue shade on the remaining half of my eyelid. Um, this particular blue shade has a slight purplish cast to it, which is great because it's going to blend a little better with the red rather than a straight blue. Then I'm going to take this Dome brush and this dark shade of blue here and just deepen the outer V and into the crease a bit. Before we continue on, I'm going to dip a clean brush into a muted gold shade and apply that to the brow bone to make a background for blending. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of white just under the eyebrow to add a little brightness to the highlight. Next I'm going to take an angled brush and the first blue I used and I'm going to run that over all the blue work I've done just to smooth out any rough edges and meld together the crease shade with the lid shade. Next, I'm going to go back with my small shader brush and just touch up any red that might have been muted 
by the application of the blue. And to do that, I'm just going to, again, mix my colors and just pat the red over where the red should be, just to brighten it up and make it a little more bold. Then I'm going to take the same muted gold shade I used on the brow bone, and I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow work I've just done. Now using the same brush I used to set the foundation, I'm going to brush away any fallout. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and first I'm going to use the same muted gold shade to brighten up the inner tear duct. And then I'm going to dip it into a more true gold to smudge below the lower lash line. Next is eyeliner. I'm using a blue cream liner, but a dark blue pencil would work as well. And I'm going to run that blue eyeliner just below the lower lash line to add definition to the eye. Next, we're going to take a black eyeliner and line the upper lash line. To finish up this liner work, we're going to thicken the line at the outer corner of the eye. Think 1960s mod, and then make sure melds nicely with the blue down below. Now we're going to fill in our eyebrows. Whoops! You can use your preferred method. This one just happens to be mine. You want a nice well-defined eyebrow. And I'm also going to exaggerate the arch in my eyebrow a little bit because I don't have a whole lot of natural arch. And to do that, I'm just going to concentrate some color towards the upper half of my brow, like so. See the difference? After we set it with a corresponding powder, we're going to brush them through to make sure everything's in place. Then we're going to curl our lashes and add some mascara. Now I'm going to add the little white star just on one side. I'm using a white eyeliner. And I'm just going to draw a basic five-pointed star. To set your gold star, choose the best white you have on hand and just use your pencil brush to dab a little over the star. And then using a clean brush, lightly dust any excess white eyeshadow away. And that should leave you with a nice white star. Now we're going to apply bronzer. Pick a bronzer that's going to correspond with your skin tone. Since I have warm undertones, so does my bronzer. We're going to make sort of an E shape along the side of our face, and we're going to get both sides. And this is just to warm up the skin tone, because Wonder Woman is an Amazon. I'm also going to bring it down my nose and on my chin and basically where the sun would hit me. And I'm going to bring some down on my neck so my neck isn't ghastly pale. Then I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and that same gold tone we use on the brow bone, I'm going to use on the cheekbones. 
To highlight the nose and chin, we're going to use a light matte peach. And this is just to avoid the shimmer that is in the muted gold we used on the cheek and brow bones. Next, we're going to take a matte brown shade. It can be a bronzer. I'm using a matte brown eyeshadow. And we're going to contour. Starting with the cheekbones, make sure you blend out any harsh lines. We're also going to take that contour underneath our jawline. Once again, blending out any harsh lines. And this will just add more definition and give the illusion of a more chiseled jaw. This would be a technique a girl would use if she wanted to dress up like a guy for Halloween, for example. I am also going to contour the sides of my nose, just to add a little more definition to my features. I'm also going to add a touch of contour to the temple area. Then, because the contour shade I use seems a little off with my skin tone, I'm just going to use the same bronzer I used to give my skin a sun-kissed glow, just to blend out everything and make it appear a little more homogenous. I'm going to add a touch more highlight to my cheekbones, this time using the white I use just under my eyebrows to add a little bit of lightness and add a little bit more definition. Next, we're going to apply some blush in between the highlight and contour. I chose a nice warm tone blush because the bronzer has given my skin a very warm glow. Next I'm going to use a lip balm to prep my lips for lipstick. And while that's absorbing in, I'm going to take a translucent powder and a fluffy powder brush and dust it over everything to seal everything in. To finish up, I'm going to use a nice bright red lipstick. And you can use a lip liner if you like. But this will just bring together the entire look and really give it a nice polish. Clean up any rough edges. And we are done. Now I just need to take the curlers out of my hair. I hope you enjoyed my Wonder Woman inspired makeup tutorial and I really hope you're enjoying my Super Ladies series. Just to keep tabs, my last one which was number one was the Villainous Poison Ivy. Today is number two which is the heroine Wonder Woman. My next one will probably be another villain. I'm thinking either Catwoman or Emma Frost. And I'm kind of leaning towards Emma Frost simply because my last two have been DC Comics and I want to do some Marvel Comics as well. But yeah, stay tuned for that one. Whichever one I end up choosing. And yeah, to finish up your Wonder Woman look, you could of course do your own Wonder Woman costume. I don't have one, so I made an approximation. So I just threw on a red cami, and of course I'd wear a strapless bra with it if I were wearing it out. And then I threw on a headband. I would have gone with gold if I had one, but since I didn't, I went with the closest thing I had, which was a tan. So, yeah. As usual, I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Bye. Bye.